crystal blessings. It's Hibiscus Moon with HibiscusMoonCrystalAcademy.com. Today I have a really cool question about crystal grits. And this question comes from Anne Marie. Hey Hibiscus Moon, Anne Marie here from Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Uh, my question is, how long should you leave a crystal grid up for? Um, and is it okay to move it? And um, what would happen if you did? Okay, I love that question. A crystal grid is basically an intention setting activity. It's sending a clear message to source energy of whatever it is you're trying to manifest or intend to do. Now there's certain parameters and rules and things about doing them. Certain things that you should take into account when doing a crystal grid. First question I have for you then is what is the crystal grid doing for you? What is the intention? Is the intention to bring happiness into the home? Then I will leave that crystal grid up all the time, uh, unless I feel like I need to tweak it or do something different with it. Basically, when my intention has manifested or whatever it is I was trying to achieve has manifested, I feel like the crystal grid has done its job, that's when I will take it down. I will thank it and I will mindfully, respectfully take it all down and then maybe start working on something else and thanking source energy or whatever the higher power is that you believe in. Take it down when its job is done and do it in a mindful way and you'll be safe there. Your other question was, can you move it? Yes, you can because I advise paying close attention to your crystal grid, giving it a little TLC whenever you can, every day if possible, but you don't have to reactivate it every day. But if it gets moved, if its parts get moved around, you know, the cat comes by and swats it, or a kid comes by and swats it, or an adult comes by, <laughs> you get the picture. You've got to reset it and then reactivate it. So you certainly can move it if you need to move it. Maybe you have a traveling grid or something of that sort. So you can certainly do that. That is okay. And just to let you know, both of these points are covered in my guidebook on crystal grids that I wrote. All that is covered and much, much more. So if you're interested in reading more about crystal grids and finding out what I feel are all the things to pay attention to when doing a crystal grid, then please pick that up. You can pick it up on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever you can buy books online. You can get paperback or electronic version. And I didn't mean for this to become a full-on commercial, but it kind of led me there, right? <laughs> You knew I was going to go there. All right, namaste and thank you so much. Bye. So the question, <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought there.